What is up? Welcome to another edition of Sacktown Movie Buffs. Once again, I'm Kier. Unfortunately, there's no Jason for this video. I will be uh, recording with him later. Uh, he opted not to do a review for, for this film. Um, so it'll be just me. Um, so I say without further ado, I say we get right into it. The film that I'm reviewing today is actually going to be The Lost City, uh, which part of the reason he didn't want to review is because he saw it, I guess, like months ago. I unfortunately just got around to seeing it a few weeks ago. I didn't see it in theaters. Um, but just wanted to go ahead and do a review uh, real quick on this one. So uh, The Lost City uh, basically stars Sandra Bullock and um, Channing Tatum. Uh, the best way to describe it is she is a writer and writes these novels. Um, and Janet Tatum's character is basically uh, the cover model for the book. You know, it's like, you know, like those Daniel Steele romance novels, stuff like that, where, you know, they always have like some Fabio looking dude on the front or whatever. Um, so that's basically what his character is. Um, so in this case, she writes books about these uh, cities abroad, things of this nature. And um, she writes about, you know, these these ancient cities that are that, that do exist because she's done some research on her husband uh, who had passed away. Uh, some time ago, he used to actually do research. I guess she used to do some research as, as well. He was like an uh, archaeologist, and I think she was uh, part of the team with her. In any event, uh, this really rich uh, individual uh, believes that she is actually uh, onto something with her books in terms of being able to find like this lost ancient treasure that was hidden. And um, so she basically, he basically confronts her and says, "Hey, I think that you might be the key to finding this lost treasure." And um, she, of course, refuses, refuses and is eventually kidnapped. Um, and so, uh, you know, her team and her publicists, uh, you know, try to rescue her. Um, there were a few cute clues that were left behind. And then, of course, uh, Channa Tatum's character also wants to rescue her to be a hero. And uh, basically, at least it's the help of, uh, of another character who uh, has some military training, because obviously he doesn't have any at all. And they basically end up finding a way to track her by her cell phone um, and basically it kind of goes from there um and that's kind of like the best way to describe it so it's kind of a rescue mission thing where they're trying to like escape this country and they have people basically chasing them um you know to either kill them or do harm to them uh because they want to find this treasure so it's a comedy action comedy if you will romantic action comedy if you will of course um but uh just to sum it up real quickly i thought it was okay nothing special nothing great didn't love it didn't necessarily hate it um Probably not something I would necessarily watch again, but, um, you know, it's not a bad way to spend an hour and a half or however long the film itself was. It's not very long. Um, and there are some funny parts. Um, there's definitely a few cameos here and there um, that are definitely funny as well. But overall, just just uh, it was just OK. Uh, definitely not one of the, the better films that I've seen this year. If I had to give this one a grade, I'm probably leaning towards a two and a half out of five. So that's just kind of a, like a slight smile, like a. Because um, and that's about it. So like I said, didn't have a bad time with it. Wasn't bored or anything of that nature. Just didn't necessarily love it either. Uh, well, let me know down in the comments. Have you seen The Lost City? Did you like it? Did you not like it? As always, if you like the channel, we ask that you like, subscribe, make sure you hit that bell notification, and we'll be back again soon with another show for you guys. We thank you for watching and hope you have a great day.